वेलकम व्यूवर्स यू आर वॉचिंग योर ओन चैनल सॉफ्टवेयर डेमी अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट हाउ टू सेव योर ले आउट्स इट्स ए टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स लेक्चर इन विच आई विल टेल यू अबाउट हाउ टू सेव योर पेज ले आउट्स योर सेटिंग्स योर टाइम स्केल्स एंड योर एस कर्व्स एवरी थिंग्स गैन चार्ट यू कैन सेव इन टू द फाइल और यू कैन सेव योर ले आउट्स विद लोगोज रिवीजन टेबल्स एंड एवरी थिंग यू कैन सेव इन अ फाइल एंड यू कैन इम्पोर्ट डेट फाइल एंड put that file to other system and then export in the other system and you will get the same page layout and page settings as you put in your primavera p6 so these are hacks and tips and tricks lectures primavera p6 you are watching with softy demi so i will go from primavera p6 here we go primavera p6 is open and we will go for a uh, print preview here you can see on the top villa construction project and here is a logo and here is a revision box and there is a file 12 pages there and this page is not set up we will go for here and page setup so here is the file a three size file you can see villa construction so this is the layout so if we need a s curve below this one so we will add here its s curve below here in this schedule and when we go for the print setup print preview so here in page setup i will go for option i will add profile here in the bottom and in bottom where we go we will see a profile here so i will go here and in the view tab layout i will save as this will layout and it's for current user not for this project only so when we add for current user we will use this one template for all projects so i have save here when I, when i go here layout and i open the layout you can see a vc project schedules so these are a general project schedules so now i will go here so now i will go for here wbs you can see my all wbs here with their estimated weightages with their performance percentage complete when i go here for print preview you can see here only the table is coming i will go here and write here and also grid lines i will add the grid lines here apply okay you can see grid lines also here so when i go here and fit it to time scale and then apply okay so i will go here and the layout save as this layout as a wbs vc project layout i had a column here responsible manager or if i want to remove this one customize here you can add dates here actual start date or finish date here of this one start here and start and finish both dates required here so i don't need a wbs category here okay so when i see here in a print preview so these all tables are coming start finish for wbs e wbs is showing so when i go here in the layout i will just save this layout to previous one and view the layout open the layout so when i go here it's a wc wbs vc project layout i have added two layouts now i will go for the third layout which is a resource assignment layout here i see resource assignment this layout is already verified 
you can see here view layout save as and this one layout name is vc layout vc project so now we will go for the projects and here is project layout when i go here in the print preview okay so make same the changes what i have did in wbs i will go back here and view layout and save this one layout open layout this one project vc layout i will export this one layout to desktop Here you can see Primavera layout files, PLF file, extension, the same one, I will save here this one layout, now I will go here in WBS, I will go for layout, open layout, I will export this one layout here, the second one, and now I will go for resource assignment, view layout, open layout, I will export the layout here save and now i will go for the activities view layout open layout and export this one to there so i have already exported four layouts now i will go there i will just open the layout and i will delete this one and I will go here in the WBS, I will do the same, I will open the layout, I will delete this one, I will go for resource assignment, layout, I will open the layout, I will delete the layout and in the same as the projects, view layout, open the layout and delete the same one and yes cancel this one all i have closed this one again i will open primavera p6 now now i will import my all plf layouts so you consider this one is another system where you are importing your layout files so it's easy you can add this one for a lot of projects so this one is open now view layout i will open a layout i will not make any changes here there is nothing layout i will just go for import here and i will just import my plf layout here so save save as and when i apply you can see the changes changes here to layout so the next one i will go for wbs here the same what i will do i will open the layout and I will just import the layout for the WBS here and this WBS layout is added here and I will just apply the layout of WBS here. Start finish. So the next one is for resource assignment. The same what I will do. I will go here layout and I will open the layout and I will just import the layout for the resource assignment and this one is the resource assignment layout and i have open and apply and and this one cancel here so the last one is the projects layout so i will go the same i will do the same in the view go in the view tab and open the layout and i will import my layout here for the projects so this one is for projects and save apply okay so all layouts are applied now you can add these layouts in everywhere and where you are using primavera p6 you can import and export these all layouts and you can save all your settings in your layout files you don't need to be worried about what you lost so you don't need to be remember your previous settings or you have don't need to copy your previous page setup settings or your uh, interface setting or uh, your time scale setting just export your plf file in a folder and import it again and save it into your google drive or in your own drive and to use it in further 
anywhere in the world. You can use that file, your PLF file, your basic settings, you can use everywhere in the world. Subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon below. We will meet in the next video. Thanks.